Bro, Kamala Harris will never be my motherfucking president. What is good? Welcome back to the motherfucking Flodcast. Today you just got me. This is just gonna be a little clip because I just saw something that I have to make a fucking video about. I I didn't even know that this was a thing. I cannot even yeah, I can't fathom it. It <laughs> yeah, okay, anyway, let's just jump into this. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you'll be notified whenever I drop. You feel me? Okay, so I was just about to go live. You know what I'm saying? So I was about to go live, and I don't want to do this on live because I wanted this to be on my channel as its own video because I didn't want it to get lost into a live stream. So, <laughs> so I was about to go live, and I was look. I don't know why, but I was on on my YouTube. Oh no, I was on my Instagram, <laughs> and then I seen uh, a post from Baller Alert that said President Joe Biden is getting a colonoscopy today uh it's a regular it's a regular procedure normal procedure but it involves anesthesia so he's going to shift power to kamala harris while he's under just in case so she's going to be officially the first female president in the world or in not in the world but in america we are the world <laughs> we are the world but anyway that's the craziest shit I've ever heard didn't know it's possible sounds like a setup uh they're just like uh you'll never actually win so we're just gonna alley-oop you into this spot that's crazy to me you know but anyway i got this video from uh sky news that's talking about it. it's the only video i could find so we're gonna we're gonna watch this we're gonna watch this and see what the fuck is going on here this is the craziest thing i ever heard i already said that but yeah so yeah let's get into this man craziness President Biden will briefly transfer power to Vice President Kamala Harris today as he'll be under anaesthetic for what's being described as a routine colonoscopy. The White House says the procedure is part of the president's annual medical checkup. Our correspondent Joe Pike is live Hold in up. Washington. So this happens every every year. So every year the president gets a medical checkup, takes anesthesia, and then their vice president is the president for a second. But it's special because the vice president is a female right now. So they're making it a headline as if she actually won an election. <laughs> like it's crazy how they have to do things, bro. They have to fucking slip and slide and cheat and creep and all this shit just to actually like, I, I, this is this is just to actually like get their names in the books. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I, I always say this, that, well, we already we all know this that history, the fine print. You know what I'm saying? I don't. A lot of people don't read the fine print of history. They know the event. They don't know the things that took place around it for the event to happen. A lot of people don't know like what happened on Thanksgiving. People just say things and like, oh, Indians and da 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 da. da. People just say crazy things. You know, people don't know what they're talking about. Even though it, it, there was probably, I don't, I don't know. Cause I don't fucking read the fine print. I'm not even gonna pretend I do, but I'm just saying, I know I'm not going to claim. I know what the fuck be happening. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm smarter than that. I'm smart enough to know what I don't know. So, uh, these people are getting their names in the books. So in the future, people are going to be like Kamala Harris, first female president ever. I don't know if that's really going to happen, but the way that baller alert just, promoted that it makes it seem like they're trying to like make people think that she is actually the first female president in in the country like ever in history so i don't know that's uh that's weird to me let's let's keep watching this if it's if it's nothing i'll just end it but i just wanted to talk about this for a second that's just fucking ridiculous to me i like don't buy into that please she's not the, she is not the first female president like she's barely the first female vice president <laughs> fuck out of here let's go though let's keep let's keep watching this for us. So acting President Kamala Harris then, Joe. Exactly, Sarah. That in itself is historic. The first time, I believe, that we've had a, a female U.S. president. The first time, I believe, that we've had a female U.S. president. You know we ain't never had no female president. I don't care where you're from. You know America ain't had no female president. Don't even try to downplay that. Joe Biden is due to head off 
this morning, US time, to the Walter Reed Medical Centre, about half an hour outside Washington, probably a little bit quicker if you're travelling as president. That is the same place uh, where President uh, Trump stayed for a few days last year when he uh, tested positive for COVID-19. Now, we know that uh, Joe Biden is, of course, the oldest man to serve as president. He is seven. <laughs> He's just the oldest man, period. <laughs> The way he said that, Joe, as, as you know, Joe Biden is the oldest man. <laughs> like, the way, he could have stopped right there the way that he delivered that sentence. 78. That uh, Joe Biden is, of course, the oldest man to serve as president. He is 78. He turns 79 tomorrow. And just before he became president, his doctor uh, did tell us that he... I know somebody in their 70s and he don't look as... He don't look like Joe Biden. At all. Like... This dude, Joe Biden, man, he looks like he could walk and break his ankle. He was fit to serve in that role, but was being treated for a number of conditions. Non-valvular atrial fibrillation, high cholesterol, gastroesophageal reflux, and uh, seasonal uh, allergies. This means... Like, why are we wearing masks, bro? Like, look at this. He get like, he wears the mask in the car. In the car, he has the mask on. But then he gets out and is in someone's face and takes it off. How much sense does that fucking make? You take off your mask to speak to someone close up in their face. Get out of here with that. As I say, that Kamala Harris, his vice president, will uh, be in charge. The power will be transferred to her for a brief period. And because of that, she will be working uh, from her office in the uh, West Wing, close to the center uh, of power at this uh, key time. And the White House are very keen to make it clear this is a process set out in the Constitution, and this has happened uh, many times before. They point certainly to the presidency of George W. Bush. He underwent the same procedure in 2002. So it's, okay, so I thought they were making it seem like this happens every year. That's how he made it seem. It's it's part of the week the 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 yearly physical, but it's his yearly physical that takes anesthesia for a colonoscopy, and it's not every president, right? Because if they're saying that this happened with George Bush and Trump when he had and Trump when he had COVID. This isn't normal. Then why are we acting like this is normal? This is not normal. And in 2007, it comes as at the same point as President Biden is trying to get a, a, a key bit of uh, legislation, his Build Back Better bill through the House of Representatives, this key social policy and climate change, a bit of legislation which some argue is at the heart of his presidency. Uh, but of course, he will not be able to uh, make calls to persuade politicians, lawmakers, as they say here, to back it. Uh, Kamala Harris may be she have she this liar. Have her eyes on uh, a few things as well as she will be serving as president. So he will be undergoing that routine medical this morning, including a routine colonoscopy uh, under anaesthetic. And the White House, Sarah, have told us we will get a written summary uh, from them as to uh, his medical condition later today. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Okie doke. So, so, uh, she's not the first female president. Stop. Stop with that. If I hear anyone say, say that, I promise you, we're arguing every single time. Every single time, there's going to be a debate. There's going to be, not even a debate. I'm just gonna, no. Don't even, just don't say that shit, bro, because... I, I don't know if I really can hold back, <laughs> like, saying something to you if I ever hear you say that. But anyway, that triggered me. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell to so be notified whenever I drop. Appreciate you guys for the, all the support, all the recent support. We're just going to keep on killing this shit for y'all, you know, obviously. Remember to always stay flawed. Don't you dare try to play flawed. And if you see me in the streets, then you better say, Hey, Lord. Make it easier for me to go to sleep at night, at night. I had a dream that I could do my thing. And everywhere I went, the people knew my name. Some people hated on the truth I bring. But now I use the hating just to fuel my flame. I had a dream that I could do my thing. And everywhere I went, the people knew my name. Some people hated on the truth I bring. But now I use the hating just to fuel my flame. Thank <laughs> you.